there. Welcome to the online self-access materials on referencing. First, a question for you to think about. Why should you cite the work of others in your assignments at university? Have a think about it. We'll come back to it later. Okay, so referencing at university is very important. So we've divided this whole course into two parts, one for APA and Harvard styles, and the other for IEEE style. Depending on which discipline you're studying, you'll need to choose one of these referencing styles. Referencing is often difficult for students. How do you know when to cite and when not to cite your sources? In this unit, we'll also look at how to find reliable sources, how to integrate sources into your text, and how to paraphrase and summarize information. And there is more. At the end of the unit, be sure to check out our further learning materials. Here we've gathered extra information and more videos with tips, tools, and tricks for you to use. And if you're still unsure about anything in this unit, you can always ask the staff in the independent learning center of your university. So, have you thought about that question? Why should you cite the work of others at university? Well, there are many reasons, but have a look on the screen now for the main ones. Okay, so now watch the video with Dean to find out more about referencing. Start now, what are you waiting for?